Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish have been receiving a lot of hatred from the social media community. And to be honest, it is well deserved. If you've seen that particular skit that involved both Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears about seven years ago, you would understand why people are so upset. And at first I thought it was a hoax until I saw it and I was uh, devastated as an individual. Many other people were devastated. And I'll give an example of one of those people right now. I'm disgusted to say the least. And I don't know who dude on the right is for real. But for Tiffany, never thought she was funny. I tried to, you know, watch some of her stand up before, but I couldn't even really chuckle. Like it wasn't a natural thing. I can't even say what they did on here, y'all. Y'all need to find a skit on Twitter. Type in Tiffany Haddish skit. I'm really disgusted. Like, what's wrong with y'all for real? So as you can see, people are really disgusted. So much so that the young man in the original video and an anonymous plaintiff filed a lawsuit against Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears. Now, Tiffany Haddish did issue somewhat of an apology about 10 days ago. Ari Spears remained unaccountable for his actions in directing and creating the script, or at least somebody else directed it for him and had him do it. And on a podcast last week, he had this to say. How's your week? You know, surprisingly, mine's been going pretty well. And <laughs> Listen, um, obviously, for legal reasons, I really can't uh, talk about anything at this time. Uh, but I just more or less want to say to all the loyal listeners, thank you guys for your support and for your love. Listen, this is a, this is an extortion case. Uh, this is a shakedown. We won't be shaken down. Now, as of September 20th, the charges that were brought against these people were dropped. Okay. Now, let me read to you um, what has been uh, occurring as it's a selling out of court, the plaintiffs have said this. My family and I have known Tiddish Haddish, Tiffany Haddish for many years, and we now know that she would never harm me or my brother or help anyone else do anything that could harm us. We wish Tiffany the best and are glad that we can all put this behind us. Okay, so now what? why would that uh, occur? All right, because she was accused of ne negligent supervision, failure to warn, breach of fiduciary duty, and constructive fraud. Well, hmm, that must mean that somebody had to pay, all right? Somebody paid. One of them, or both of them, paid. So then, the question is for me, clearly since this happened, were you after money the entire time, or did you really wanna bring these people to justice? Uh-huh, because it wasn't about bringing them to justice at all. It was about money. So now, let me kind of go back to what I really thought about in the first place. What I think is this, okay? Aries Spears, although he is definitely dusty for this, I believe that their family had knowledge of this. They understood what was going to happen. They signed those things. Because if they didn't, they would keep it going, right? They wanted to get a payout. And that's what happened, okay? Even though he's wrong, here's what I want to say to you. On your way to being rich or whatever you wanna do, people are gonna come after you. I get it, this is distasteful. But them selling out of court right now and acting like nothing ever happened, it allows me to understand what this is all about. This was a money play. And I'm gonna go back to my original assessment that I said and initially had changed it after watching the video. But, you know, I, I just want you guys to understand this. This is no different than you messing with women, all right? Somebody agrees to do something, no matter how egregious it is, and then they come back and, it's, and it, it makes you look bad, it makes you look embarrassing, and then your reputation is destroyed now for Ari spears he's already done i mean that's the only thing he can do is get on podcast circus now nobody cares about Ari spears anymore but for someone like tiffany haddish looks bad i think she'll still be out there and do very well but it looks bad my suggestion to guys 
whoever has money, if it makes you look bad, even if they agree to do it, just don't do it. Look at yourself as a brand. And guys, there's been things I've done and said um, in my life, uh, similar to other people that, you know, you might have done it 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And oops, here's the opportunity to make the guy look bad in 2025 or 2030. And it's going to happen. OK, let's look at George Foreman. I mean, a guy is fighting something from the 70s. Bill Cosby. It, this is a time where people are coming back and getting people for stuff they did many years ago. So people have to really be accountable for things that you do in this era. All right. Now, let me just talk about, you know, Haddish and getting out in front of this and things like that. Number one, why would you make this kind of, you know, this skit? Because even if the people did sign off on it, people are not going to look at it like that. They're going to look at the fact that you have a sick mind and you agreed to do something like this. So then the next question is, what else have you done in your private life? Because what person would come out thinking like this? It's not normal. It is abnormal, right? Like you got to be able to have sense. Where are your managers? Where are your agents? How could your agents have seen this and say, you know what? That's a good idea. That makes sense. You know, we, we should go ahead and do that. It is completely ridiculously stupid. Okay. It makes no sense. And for somebody like, like Ari Spears, who is completely terrible and will never do anything again in comedy. I mean, that makes a lot of sense for him, but for her, I just don't get it. Okay. It's very distasteful and it just doesn't make you look good. No matter who signed what, um, but guys, my question is what do you think? I mean, do you think that they got paid off? Do you think they had to, you know, they're looking for money. It was a greed grab. It was what it was. I'm not sure what it was, but it does look quite suspicious that it just kind of goes away. Now the case gets dismissed. And I think that it was never about justice. It was never about bringing these people to task for whatever they wrong that they did. I think this was basically a money grab to, Hey, we want to embarrass you for being distasteful and um, we need our money because we're, we're, we've never gotten it or we want to get more money from you and we just can because, you know, we, we have the opportunity to, to do it. So guys, let me know. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Sober Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.